Game begin. Salam alaikum. So I want to start this off by saying I know fuck all about aquaponics. Um, I just got a weird hair the other day and I decided that I wanted to give this all a shot. So I figured I should probably make some videos of it so you guys can come along with me as it were. So you'll have to pardon the traffic noise because you know, I live on a busy street because I'm poor. Uh, first, I wanna show you what I built. Uh, there's a lot of designs for this sort of stack and flip thing. Again, I don't know shit, I just went down the Google hole and looked at what other people had done. But to give you a closer look at it, I'm actually going to take some video with my phone to show you a little bit closer up so you can see what I'm talking about. And through the magic of cinematography, I will put the two together. So here's the top of it. We'll look down inside of there and we can see the pipe here that will have, I ordered a, a pump, a submersible pump that runs off of USB. It hasn't arrived yet, but that's going to go down in the bottom here. The power will come up through this as well as the the water from the fish tank. That'll get distributed into the rock bed here. And when it reaches the top of the stand pipe right here, water will begin to overflow through it. The fun part is this thing called a bell siphon. So this is just a PVC pipe with a cap on it. You can see it's hollow there, has a little castle shape on it to let water flow in through the bottom. We put that on there, and now when water flows into the, the tub here, it'll fill up, and instead of just overflowing into that standpipe, once it hits the standpipe, it'll actually start sucking from the bottom and completely drain the tub so you have this fill drain cycle back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and the idea is the fish poo water comes in through the rocks fills it up hits the top drains out dumps into the bottom here you look at the bottom of the stand pipe there's a little garden hose sticking to the bottom of it the reason for that is it turns out that a small reduction in the size or the flow a little restriction in the stand pipe helps keep the vacuum to suck that whole thing down. I've seen several people on the internet use like an elbow and point the water at the side of the, the wall, whatever. I don't think it matters that much so long as there's a little bit of suction. I may have to cut off the end of it there so that you can get a good drop and lots of aeration into the water down below. And this other piece that you see in here with the holes in it, that's just pretty much a media guard to keep the rocks and whatnot from getting in the bottom of that bell valve. I cut a little notch in the side of the, the cap here just to make it a little easier to get the cap on and off. Now, like I said, the pump hasn't shown up yet. We'll do another video when I get the pump hooked up and I'll do a video when I add fish. I'll do a video when, um, when I add plants because this is gonna take some time. So all the smart people say that it takes a while to get the nitrogen cycle working, called cycling your system. Um, essentially what happens is that fish poo creates ammonia, which is toxic to fish and plants. But ammonia attracts bacteria that convert the ammonia into nitrites, which are also toxic for fish and plants. But the nitrites attract another kind of bacteria that converts it, the nitrites into nitrates, which is harmless to fish, mostly in concentrations they can handle anyway and beneficial to plants. And the plants filter the nitrates out. And the cycle begins in the circle of life. What we're gonna do today is I'm gonna add the rock that I bought into this. And I'm gonna hopefully, I'm gonna try to kick off that nitrogen cycle by using the water that I cleaned out of my fish tank to kind of get a culture going in the rocks. Then when the pump arrives, I'll start circulating that water through, add some goldfish to it, kick off that nitrogen cycle in a week or two, then I'll add some plants. Right now, let's get the rock in here. Now, 
I rinsed this lava rock quite a bit in this barrel. But you can see there is a lot of fine dirt and dust left inside of there. So that may have to rinse a few times in this to get most of that out. I'm a little concerned it would clog the whole thing up. We'll find out. So I'm not sure if this media guard is going to stay in place or if I need to attach it to the bottom somehow. Hopefully the combined weight of this, this rock here and maybe a weight on top of it, hopefully that'll be enough to keep it in place while the water rises and flow, falls and all that sort of thing. We'll find out. I think I may rinse the rest of this some more and leave that for now. This may be close enough to the, the amount that I need anyway. All right, let's get some fish poo in here. I guess this is also the part where I find out if the bottom of this thing is watertight. So what I used in here is I noticed a lot of people cut new holes in the bottom, but I figured there's already bungs and bung holes. So why not adapt those existing bulkhead adapters for pipe? Why buy new bulkhead adapters and cut new holes when there's already holes in there? So that's what I did. So it turns out that one of them, there's in most barrels, there's two bungs. One is a coarse thread and one is a fine thread. And one of them, uh, I want to say it's the coarse thread one. One of them, the inside of that is usually threaded for, well, the same thread pitch as a uh, garden hose is. Um, it just turns out that it's, this, or close enough to the same that you can thread the same type of fitting in there. Now, they, they'll sell it like a... Home Depot and whatnot, they'll sell these fittings that go from PVC, outside diameter, to that threading. So what I did is I took the bung on this side, and that one, it's not all the way through, it's threaded, but it's not all the way through, so I actually had to cut it with my pocket knife, open it up, and then I was able to thread that adapter into it, and then I just bunged just a, a whole mess of uh, caulking all over the end of it. And you can see there that there is just kind of a mess of cock, but really it's it ought to it ought to stay pretty well. This other one it wasn't threaded, so I just hogged out a hole with the drill and widened it out a little bit more with the with the pocket knife, pushed the PVC pipe all the way through it and slopped a bunch of uh, bathtub cock around it. Looks good and dry in there. I don't see any dripping from either one of them. I put my finger up on there, got all around it, didn't see any drip. You may not be able to see it on the camera, but I can pretty clearly see the water line is here, the rock line is here. If we look up here, if we look up here, we can see that it's actually going to flood to probably about there. It's actually going to flood to about there or so. That's where the end of the standpipe is. So I'll definitely have to add some more rock. The rock should go pretty much to the bottom of this cap right here because you don't want it to flood all the way to the surface of the rock or you start getting algae living in the grow media. But 
I think we're getting close. We're making progress. Man, I just love how many times I get to say bunghole and cock. You start sucking to suck that whole thing down. There's a little bit of suction. Bungs and bungholes, new holes when there's already holes in there. Kind of a mess of cock. Hogged out a hole, put my finger up on there. <laughs> 